everyone welcome or welcome on back to my channel and also welcome to Lochmas. and i usually do these videos every year during this time because this is my favorite time of the year and i just thought i would do a play on words by calling it Lochmas. but it's just me basically uploading my videos during this time of the season i actually was about to not even come on here to be honest with you and this video is just to have an honest conversation or a moment of honesty about my locks. And 2023, I just feel like has been one of the years where it's just been crazy and just all over the place in general. But when it comes to my locks, I just feel like I've just been in this funk with them. and. If you're not new to my channel, you do know that I did start this journey on spiritual reasons. So I'm on this journey with my locks, but it's like a, it's a spiritual thing behind it, you know? And even though I come on here and I don't necessarily state that, you know, in every video or let you know, or be aware of that, it's, it's something that you know, of course I'm aware of and I'm dealing with on a daily basis. So I just feel like I'm changing as a person and I know this sounds funny or crazy, but I feel like my locks are changing with me <laughs> and I just feel like they're showing themselves, especially this year. Now I've been talking about the ends of my locks for some time now. I feel like it's been over a year. But this year, it's just gotten progressively worse. And I honestly don't feel like I've done anything really that different this year with my locks. That it should be doing this. But I also know that I am on this spiritual journey. So I feel like I'm just... I'm having to let go of certain things. And I feel like my hair is a manifestation of those things also if that makes sense so it's just been a year of me cutting my locks because the ends of my locks were having weak points or weak spots and they were thinning out in certain areas at the end and it would always be just like the ends and not necessarily the mid shaft, not necessarily the root area, which I'm happy about. But I couldn't understand what was going on with the ends of my hair. Now, when I started my luck journey, I started with about an inch of hair. So it's kind of making me feel like out with the old and with the new in the aspect because literally I feel like every lock is slowly like starting to have a weak spot near the end and at first it was this front area and as you can see this front area I've been tampering with some of them are short naturally because I've always had different size locks, you know, throughout my hair. <laughs> and I started certain locks later than others. But I just feel like I've been definitely tampering with this area and cutting the weak points mostly here. But now it's like I'm starting to notice weak points in other areas of my hair. And here's a lock here. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like right in this area here is the weak point and like i said before in another video it's like it's dense 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 and it, then it gets to this point where it's really soft and i don't know if you can tell but it's even like certain hairs are now separating from that point and it's always about this amount of hair i'm having to cut from my locks so I've been thinking, you know, what is, what is the end goal here? What should I do? And, and I've also been thinking, maybe I'm failing at this journey <laughs> because my hair is doing this. And I know that sounds 
silly, but that is where my mind has been lately. Felt like at a certain point, I felt like I was failing because I'm like, why are my locks doing this? I do understand that my hair is color treated, so that could be contributing to that. But since I've been conscious of that or aware of that, I've been trying to not color it, like, you know, with permanent color or bleach it, so to speak. And the only coloring I have been doing is the semi-permanent or the temporary colors. So I'm at this point where I'm like, I've been doing that, you know, I haven't really changed my routine in any type of way or anything. I haven't started any new medication or anything like that. My diet is still the same. I, I've been vegetarian for a while now, so it's like, what is it <laughs> you know and i'm like should i just give up on this which has been funny to to think about because i feel like most of the creators or people who inspire me who have locks they have now decided to comb out their locks and i'm sitting here like what is happening <laughs> Like, it's just like everywhere I'm seeing, like, people are combing out their locks. And I know everybody's on a different journey and comb out their locks for different reasons. But I'm like, is it because it gets to this point where it's too hard? Or, you know, you get to a point where you see problems and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't want to comb out my locks. That is not what this video is about, but it's just like, I'm frustrated with my hair and I'm like, I'm shedding these ends for a reason. And I'm like, has to be something besides what it just looks like right now or the circumstance or it has to be something else that I'm shedding and it's showing up in my hair, if that makes sense, because I'm on this spiritual journey. I know that sounds all over the place, but I'm just trying to let you know where my mind has been and what I've been thinking. Because I'm like, it's constantly only an inch or so that is is like having or showing up on each lock. It's all, always like the end. And it's like, if I do have to cut it off, it's always about an inch or less. And I'm like, that's weird because that's like the length I started with, you know what I mean? Like, so am I shedding that part of myself off, so to speak? Or am I done with that part of my spiritual, you know, my spiritual goals or, you know, the lessons I've had to learn because my locks have definitely taught me patience. They've also taught me that things are not always going to be perfect and you may run into issues. And even though you've run into these issues, do are you just going to derail everything and give up or are you going to stick with it, so to speak? And I feel like that's challenging me right now because like I said, I've been frustrated with them. I've been cutting my ends periodically throughout this year and I'm at the point now where I'm like, should I just cut it into a bob? <laughs> you know, because I'm like, I have all these layers and I'm like, if it's going to keep doing this and I'm, I'm now seeing it show up in the back area, I'm like, should I just go ahead and bob it out and just cut it like right here you know I am about almost three and a half years and this is the shape of my locks this is what my locks are going to be giving for the rest of my journey I don't believe they're going to shrink any smaller than this this is my definite size so I'm like maybe I should just go with the flow and just instead of cutting each individual one as I see fit when I find the weak spot or whatever just go ahead and just give myself a cut 
all over. And I've also been considering, well, just keep going and keep cutting as you see fit because I'm not afraid to cut my locks. And yes, I've tried to repair them with the crochet needle, but I feel like since I have fine hair and my locks are small, it always causes it to get weaker in that point, I feel like, and then it eventually feels like it's gonna fall off or doesn't stay together for long. So I'm just like, I just cut them. I just don't even try to hold on to it. I just let it go. And I don't know, that's, that's, that's my thought process right now. That is me being as transparent as I can be with my hair right now because I just been thinking those types of thoughts, not completely letting go of the lock journey, but cutting it and letting go of some of the length. And my length is super, super long or anything, but I would be cutting off what I feel like is my three year length. Cause I do feel like here is what I've grown in about a year or so within the third year. So that's how much I would be cutting off. And if I leave it, you know, as is, just dealing with each lock that shows me that it has the weak point. Even this one that I, um, you can even see it. <laughs> the weak point is right here, but it's just like dangling for dear life right now. But this is the one that was thinning at one point in my journey and it was doing fine as you can see it started to get thicker but now i don't know it now has a weak point right here and like i said it's always about an inch or so it's it's like the weirdest thing so i don't know i haven't decided to cut that one yet but just noticing throughout my hair now the back is starting to show signs like that to me so i don't feel like i do any tight type of styling for it to be doing that either i feel like the most i've been doing this year is curly styles you know curling my hair or braiding my hair i'm doing a braid out so and I feel like I'm not, I've never braided my locks, you know, or put them into like a individual braids, if that makes sense. I've done, you know, cornrows going back, but even when I've done that, it wasn't super tight or anything. I just know they've been going through the mature process. And as they've been going through the mature process, I just noticed that they're showing weak spots throughout you know my head of lots so I do know you know with fine hair you, your hair is more sensitive so I don't know if that's a factor maybe just because I have fine hair and this is what my locks are doing in the mature process they're starting to have these weak points some of you are probably thinking oh your hair looks good why would you think certain things about your hair it's just i feel like your own head of hair you critique or criticize the most <laughs> and someone else can look at it and say it's doesn't look bad it's not you know are you worried about that but it's just what i've been noticing and i was considering doing but I am still pretty early in my lock journey. But I'm also a person that's not committed to length like that. I've, I've always said I, I don't have a length goal. So I feel like I'm always going to be the person that will cut their locks, if that makes sense. Like I'm not afraid to let go of length, especially if it means my hair would be healthier, if that makes sense. So it's just the ends. So that's why I'm like, should I just go ahead and cut it? Because it's definitely not the root area. The root area is driving. <laughs> she is thick on thick in my opinion. So I'm like, I don't think it's a 
fact of it growing out the, my scalp, I just think the ends are just now like, let us go, girl. It, <laughs> it's time to just let us go because we're not serving you anymore. And that, that's just my opinion. But as you can see, my roots are still thick. Still have my hair separating from the lock as usual. That is something I've experienced my entire journey. So that is nothing new here. And like I said, it's definitely been separating this front area or this crown top area a lot more. Or should I just let it run its course and we see where we are next year. Maybe I'll give it to next year in March or the end of February and see what she's looking like. I could do that, but just been feeling really funky about it. Just been feeling like semi-defeated, but I do feel like she looks really good regardless of me cutting her. Like, I feel like she's still, like this whole cascade thing that she's giving now that I've cut like my bangs really short I don't know so that's why I'm not against the bob you know solution like if I cut this to kind of go with the goldness that I'm already getting from this front section as you can see so who knows what I'll do but I'm gonna continue to ponder on it, but I did want to come and just be honest about where I'm at with my locks right now. I'm not sure what other videos I'm going to bring to you guys. It is the holiday season and I do need to style my locks for the holidays because I do have places to be <laughs> and things to do, but I'm just like, you know, I'm just feeling insecure at this point with them. So I just think it's a, it's a definite spiritual lesson for me that I'm going through in my opinion. And I'm definitely letting go of certain parts of my locks for that reason. I, I just feel that in my spirit, but you know, I know obviously the obvious, your color treated, the obvious, you have fine hair, the obvious, <laughs> your locks are small. So it's like you could be just going through the locking process and certain parts of your locks are just have weaker points, you know, before I started. And this is what it's giving now. I do know all those factors could be at play besides what I'm thinking, but that is where my mindset is at and I'm like, I'm not scared to let it go if that's what's gotta, gotta happen. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye guys. Yeah.